Hello again folks and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World 2. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. A significant amount has changed since the last time I did recording because there was a lot of grinding. For one, I had discovered that uh, there is no easy way to get Myotismon from being Myotismon back to being an Agumon again and on top of that, if I did, I couldn't make him into an Omnimon anymore because you see you need like 16 Digivolution points to turn him into a Metal Greymon, and then when you do that, if you lose out on making him a Metal Greymon, like going back to a Greymon, then the next time he Digivolves, he'll Digivolve into a Tyranimon or a Master Tyranimon, and I didn't want that. I wanted myself a goddamn Omnimon. But instead, uh, Monty is actually going a different path. That of the Aerovidramon. Now, because I had digivolved him using that and uh, was a giant pain in the ass. But slowly, surely, he's getting back all his strength and whatnot, and he's got a fair sizable arsenal going on here. On top of that, I have Kuga, which, as you can see, is a Dara bird, um, Dara Mon, rather, and I don't want him to be that. So, eventually, uh, when I can when he's essentially going to be maxed out as a Deramon, I am going to fuse him with a Flymon, which will turn him into a Kunemon, where I will then max him out again, and then fuse him with a Kapiterimon in order to make him into a Tentamon so that I can make him into a Hercules Kapiterimon. Hope you're all keeping track of this. This will be on the test. Kiki is actually easy. I'm going to fuse her with Togemon that I'm slowly working on in order to make her into a um, Rosemon. That's about it. Just Rosemon. Might end up needing to make her a little bit stronger, uh, but yeah. I'm going to level up this uh, Palamon until it's a Togemon, like maybe 15, 20, and then fuse with uh, Kiki, and then bam, Rosemon essentially. Ugh. There's a lot of change, and a lot of it was research and trying to figure out how I was going to make uh, Monty into a Greymon or a Metal Greymon again, and the see the easiest solution is not. I'm doing. I'm going with my second favorite of the top megas that I like, Imperial Dramon. But I digress. We're gonna go into the BIOS domain. It has been a hard time. I actually did try to start recording this earlier. Um. Unfortunately, uh, my finger, while I was reaching for something I put on top of the PlayStation 3, had hit the button for the PlayStation 3 and turned it off. I was like halfway through this bitch. And now I'm a bit sour because now I gotta get back through this bitch. So now I'm more or less just hoping that I can find all the right paths. Now, I would, I was actually thinking about going and just simply grinding up till now until I get uh, Imperial Dramon and whatnot. But the thing is, is that all the Digimon that the most I can get out of a Digimon for experience points is like 200-ish. And definitely not going to get them in Bios domain either. Also, if I do not manage to cover myself up with the coughing, I apologize. That is still happening. I don't know what... Well, I do know why, rather. It's just I don't, you know... Oh, hello. But I've been drinking tea, warm tang, and all that fun stuff. Went to a clinic. They were like, hey, probably should have come in sooner. I, and I was like, I know, but that costs money. Oh, wow. Super lucky in this area. Let's see, what do we have over here? Oh, Kokotorimon and uh, Kiwimon. Also, I have made several discoveries while I was playing this game as well. Uh, most notably that there is specialty weaknesses as well as um, weaknesses based on virus vaccine and all that fun stuff. Trouble is, is that it is kind of convoluted. 
It almost might just be better just to ignore it altogether. Not really, but still. It, it's, it's weird stuff, like fire is not as effective against darkness. Which... Oh, hello, Sintarumon. Ninjamon and a sudden Yanamamon. Let's see what's over here first. Kiwimon, Kokotorimon. Let's see if we can't take the path, <coughs> path of least resistance, rather. Because the stronger I am when I get the hell out of here, two Kokotorimon and Akotorimon. Yeah, the stronger I am when I get out of here, the more prepared I will be for facing off against the big bad of the dungeon. <clears throat> Looks like I'm going to be facing off against the Centauru Monsoon as the other area over there is where I need to go. Dun 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 dun. Don't take this music. Alright, so were I a smart man, I would have seen what the different uh, typings of these three were. But each of these attacks do have a specialty to them. That said, I don't know them, which is additionally a pain in the ass-ish. Otherwise, this would be a lot easier. A oh, fire Digimon must be weak against water, you might think. And you know what? You might be correct. I probably could just bring up the chart, but again. Ooh, can't do a take. Out of fact, I can bring up the chart. Because this site has basically made itself a nice little home in one of my tabs. It's that site from before. But yeah. Uh, darkness is darkness take yeah, darkness takes less damage from fire but more damage from water fire takes less damage from machine but more damage no it does more damage to nature machine does more damage to darkness but less damage to water nature does less damage to darkness but more to machine and water does more damage to fire naturally but less damage to nature Again, it's a whole lot of didn't really make much sense in the first place to me either way. Not to mention, uh, <clears throat> I think unless you go into the, the creature's screen, you are not going to know which one offhand is what element. Shoots horn missile. Okay. Now, I, again, I also don't know if that's like dependent on the move or the monster. Also, I have to say, I think at this point, I really can't wait to get rid of my Daramons. Most notably because, you know, it kind of looks like they're always pooping. Like, I know they're, like, supposed to be hatching eggs or casting magics from their tail of bush, but come on. Doesn't look right. <clears throat> So the ray does damage. Not a whole lot. But yeah, I had also I was gonna have a thing where I showed off um one of the attacks that my oldest mod would have given Monty. And he does give him Monty, because I'm gonna have him maxed out eventually. Uh, but the thing is is that he you're gonna see it anyways. You might have seen it from my oldest mod, but eh. It's a pretty nice attack, though. The darkness one, so... Need to keep that in mind. <coughs> Excuse me. And dead. I suppose I should be happy with this team, though. Once, uh... I think it's Kiki that doesn't have the... Egg attack. The egg attack is actually stupid strong. I don't get it. I don't understand it. But hey. Not gonna complain about it. There we go. And completely 
go around the Kokotori Mon. And out of here. <coughs> Excuse me again. Oh, is this another of that design? Weird. Never had two of these in a row before. What do we have down here? Sataramon, Ninjamon, Sandyamamon. Ah, let's see about going this other way. Is that Kokotorimon again? Path of Least Resistance. Hello. Well, now I want that, even though I know that there's not going to be anything of actual value in it. <coughs> Anyways, people might be wondering why Imperial Jamon. There's other Mikas that are quote unquote cooler. And yeah, there are, but I really like Imperial Jamon. He is one of those Digimon from the OG Season 2 that I really do I really dig. I don't know why they made it make it so as I was talking about this with a friend. They make it so as this game has a lot of mechanics and rigmarole from uh you know uh, <coughs> staples let's put it that way and yet they don't make it so as you fuse um vidramon with stingmon in order to make certain digimon Hyldramon. that guy was always a fun one he had machine guns on his hips Wing blade. Ooh, is that enough to kill him? Ah, oh, damn it. <clears throat> but we do get countered. Ow. 23 damage. Whatever shall I do against 23 damage? Yeah, I thought so. That attack is actually really damn good. You learn it from Kokotorimon, and it causes paralysis. Which, as we've seen from when I get paralyzed all the goddamn time, that is a really good move. And paralysis is really nice. Essentially, they essentially don't get a turn. They don't spend any MP. It says just attack missed, but... You know. You know what it means. Oh yeah. Because Kuga had been fused with Anjimon, or Magna Anjimon, sorry. He had gotten the ever so lovely uh, magical tail attack. Mm, the Harpoon, Harpoon Torpedo is actually a surprisingly good attack. Pretty sure Sintaramon. Was Sintaramon more? Huh. Oh, I think Centaurumon might be a uh, machine? Oh no, that's right. There are some Digimon that have no typings. Because that always makes sense. This isn't a fire Digimon. It's a non-Digimon. To be fair, Aero Vidramon's the same way. Dude ain't got no typing. Oh, what do you do with an assist? Sunray. Oh, I don't want you to have that. Alright, so we might want to consider doing in the Sandian Maman before everything else in this fight. Give that to you. Sub Zero Ice Punch. Or Boom Torpedo. Still looks like he's crapping fire, essentially. Damn it. I won't lie, I've kind of grown on Sub, -Sub Zero Ice Punch some more. If only because of the. Um, if you continue to use it, like round after round after round after round, you will do more damage. Uh, 
Alright. South? Now we gotta go this way. Or there is another centaur. You know what? Let's see if I can't. I'm able to move straight. Okay. Ha! I win, Tarumon. Don't get me this time. Alright, who do we got? Rukatorimon, Akatorimon. Just don't face him on that, because the fire might suck. Oh, that's a big room. I gotta remember, I can run away. I can certainly run away, it's just that... Lots of times it's, um... Just annoying to do so. I don't want to run away because that means less experience points. But less experience points means I get to actually, you know, get through the game. It's actually one of the reasons why I'm recording right now. Is that I want to see more of the game, but I also want to be able to grind in areas that might be a little bit better to grind in. Because, again, 200 experience points being the most we get out of most Digimon is not a lot. That's another Centauromon. And that's kind of just my gripe, but that's also how I just play video games in the first place. Grind into... Grind everything until it's a fine powder. Not to mention, we get some more story beats. People like story, right? Admittedly, I've been playing this game purely for the mechanics. Ooh, Drill Missile 3. It just gave me a Drill Missile 3. What is the next in line when it comes to... the colors of the walls? Because <clears throat> I can assure you, I don't think it's blue. Or maybe it is. Ooh, bosses this way. Alright. Let me just look at my inventory really quickly here, just, some, just to re-familiarize myself. HP stuff, Digivices, because I was catching, um... Palmon. I think I'm good. Hey you, you're the tamer from the city, aren't you? We won't let you guard tamers stand in our way of our plans. Down with the guard tamers. Don't think you'll ever leave here standing. Heal, Crimson the Great. I'll stop you, Blood Knights. And stop him, he did. Or will. His past tense. As soon as it loads. Clockmon, Tankmon, Dromojamon. Clockmon, I think, is a machine. As is Tankmon, that just makes sense. And that's Drill Mojamon, not Indramoljamon, which is a thing and it's kind of silly. Is he a fire type? Sorry, I'm, I am looking these guys up just because I want to end these and get to the next stage. Wait, what the hell is Dramojamon? Not fire. There are actually, according to the website I've been using, there are actually very few fire, fire Digimon. Oh no. I guess they're all mach Dromojamon's machine? Alright. So since they're all machine, it would be best to use nature attacks. Luckily, I think Royal Smasher, where I shoot eggs, is in fact a nature attack. It's kind of silly. I know. Just go with it. Let's see, what else do I have? I know Thunder Ray is. None of the V attacks are. Huh. Yeah, Royal Smasher is about the only one I got. <clears throat> so, other than that, I just need to avoid using... If they are machine. Just avoid using fire. Makes sense. So no Nova Blast, so we're going to be kicking people with a Sub-Zero Ice Punch. 
Let's see, was Spinning Needle a nature attack? Yes, it is. Excellent. I can... Let's deal in that Clockmon first. I think Tankmon and Jamojamon only do... Oh no, he's got an Interrupt. That's annoying. Okay. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Except it completely interrupted his turn. Interesting. Sub-Zero Ice Punch. I don't think I've emphasized enough how many... how much I actually really dig the boss battle themes. If only because it really does pull away from, you know... some of the other music that's in this... which has become very generic in my ears. Yeah, I think we got this. Oh, the interrupt just made it so as he'll go last. Okay. Interesting. How much am Yep, that clock one's gonna go down. And again, Sub Zero Ice Punch, it even says right there, hit foes about to counter. Okay, what? Power up with repeated use. I was looking at the wrong thing. Shut up. One moment while I stop the coffee noises. There we go. Yeah, I think Chrono Breaker just makes it so as that Digimon will go last. At least that's my understanding. An interesting attack, though. Called it. Also, each and every individual attack does have their own separate attack power um, as well. It's just that, again, the game tells you nothing about it. So you just kind of assume that the ones that cost the most MP uh, have the greater effect. And generally speaking, that is true. But sometimes there's ones that are, it's just like, okay, what does... It doesn't say what Sub-Zero Ice Punch does. Sub-Zero Ice Punch has a starting attack power of like 25. But each successive time it goes up 2.5. So, more and more damage. Which I dig. I think I missed that tank mon. That's fine, we're gonna work on the Jamojamon. It's been, it's been a trial and error sort of learning mechanic sort of thing until I found this Metal Kid side of stuff. Which I am so thankful for to find in, because... Uh, a lot of it is just... Because people... A lot of the game facts sites have like... These are really impressive looking charts with numbers and letters and all that fun stuff. When I just need something to flat out tell me this Digimon with this, this Digimon will create this Digimon. And uh, yeah, for what it's worth, this this guy's website is goddamn amazing for it. <clears throat> so kudos to Metal Kid's Saito stuff or Digimon World 2. I'm getting freaking tanked. I should probably use an HP driver soon. It would make me feel safe. There we go. Now let's see. I believe we can kill Jamojamon with just these two. And keep on... Isn't that... Spinning Needle, bam. Kind of interesting that they make it so as nature does more damage against uh, machine types. Making sure I'm reading this correctly. Yep, yeah, read, reads correctly. 20% more damage to machine types. Though I was right. I wasn't crazy. It was doing more damage. It's just that... 
I it makes no sense. Like, the only one that makes sense is that water does more damage to fire. Fire does more damage to nature. That's about the only... That's, that's where it stops making sense. The nature to machine. Machine to darkness. Darkness to water. And that's where the five-point pentagram of the weakness chart is. <clears throat> I ball cannon. Alright, I think that's all of those guys taken out, so we just need to worry about the tank bomb. Oil Smasher. I'm gonna use V Nova Blast. I like V Nova Blast. I seem to recall that in. No, it was the original series, uh, Adventure, Season 1, where Greymon, I think one of the first times he actually used Nova Blast, it, he called it Digi Nova Blast. Like, why? Why did you call it that? It's not the name of it, but, alright. If and you say so, and. 33. Nope, no victory yet. Just one more hyper cannon to the face. And, uh, yeah. Then we throw some eggs at it and win. Heck it, I'll even guard with these other two. Okay. There we go. Victory! Ooh, Kiki even got a level up from that. Out oh, and got their own Royal Smasher attack. Excellent. Or shall I say, excellent. I want to destroy my channel after saying that. Whew, somehow I beat him. What is that on the ground? Looks like the parts I had picked up before. Got a gyro radar. Then we boogie. Huzzah. Yep. Just gonna uh, wait for that loading. Dun, 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 dun. Look after my Digi Beetle. Leave it to me. I'll excuse as new. So, do I go right back to the Hawk? Brotherhood of the Hawk? Pretty sure I just traumatized a bunch of Berserk fans. Hello, sir. Good news, I kicked everyone's ass. So, you've defeated the enemies in all three domains. You still haven't found the Blood Knight's leader, Crimson. Would you... Small accomplishments, man. Seriously. I just kicked through their asses. I also spent like an additional 20 or 10 hours doing nothing but grinding my Digimon to being what I want them to be, but still. Come on. Alright, alright. Guess I'll actually go to where I think I need to go, which is, I think. Maybe. The, um device domain. I say device domain. Device dome. Ugh. That'd be good. I'll talk around. Why not? Oh. Sequence. Hey Darius, I was just thinking of you. You've... You're just in time. I have a favor to ask you. I was repairing this thing, but there's something I can't figure out. I want you to get me a Digimon from a domain. Sorry, I'm busy with my guard team. Oh, come on, please. I'll get you something nice. All right, what do you need? I want you to get me a Tankmon from the web domain. I can pr 
perfect this thing if I could check out Tankmon's power converter. Alright, so you want me to get a Tankmon, right? I... No, we're not done here yet. If I'm gonna get a Tankmon, I need the supplies to do so, and I... It's so silly. I can digivolve them independently, I think, uh, while in the ta while in the city, but I can't di DNA digivolve them with other Digimon. <coughs> Ooh, another important thing I should double check out. Kiki is now max level, which means that Kiki is going to uh, get fused in with Turose. Named it that for a reason once I make it into a Togemon. So I'll take this time off camera to once again grind Palamon into a Togemon and then uh, Kiki shall be reborn anew. But that means I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, more Digimonings. Finally, I, I feel like I've been doing nothing but grinding for the past three days, and that's because I have. When we return, we're going to have the Tankmon, I'm gonna give it back to. Give, give it over to Kim, and then I think I'm just going to montage my way through the uh, tournaments that I think I need to do. We'll see. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it, and as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.